Hello and welcome back to another Atlas video. Today I want to talk about gardening, how to set up a garden, as well as how to connect the pesky irrigation pipes that we need to connect. As you can see, actually this poop will come in handy later. That's not the first time I've said that in this tutorial series, but anyway, as you can see, I have a small little cooking hut built over there. That's where the rest of the town is going to go. And then I've also been working on Tutoria. I think that's what I'm going to name it. Night Scream suggested maybe Tutoria could be like a play on Tortuga. But anyway, here's what the inside of the house looks like. Just your typical manor home mansion. And then this is the crafting station where we are going to start the tutorial. I like to keep all of my benches pretty close to each other so that I can just, you know, buzz around between bench to bench. But anyway, to do this tutorial, uh, first of all, you're going to need to go into your skills and head over to cooking and farming, which can be unlocked in the survivalism menu. You unlock the basics, then waterkeeper, then cooking and farming. So once you've done that, head right over here and pick up basics of cooking, as well as water storage, of course, for obvious reasons. Um, actually, I'm having a bit of a problem. It hasn't rained on this island yet. Um, but go ahead and get basic farming, basic recipes. And I went all the way down to... Um, the secrets of cooking so that I can unlock a grill. So basically, if you want to be growing stuff and you want to be farming, you should do this. Um, soil tilling is basically what will increase your yield. I don't have that completely leveled up yet, but I might do that for the end of the tutorial to show you what it looks like when you do have that leveled up. So anyway, we go into our smithy and once you've unlocked all of those things, you'll notice that you can make a stone water reservoir which I'm gonna make one of and then here we have a craftable water pipe system and I'm just gonna make all five I don't know if we're gonna need all five but I'm gonna make all five um, pretty basic stuff to craft them it does require organic paste so let me show you the organic paste um, head over to your mortar mortar and pestle and here you see that we can make some organic paste, which just takes fibers and saps. So I still had saps from the sugar cane from the Freeport Island, which was perfect. So I went ahead and made a whole bunch of organic paste with it. So now we have the water pipe system and we have the reservoir and we're going to need actual farm plots, which are found in your inventory. I'm gonna start with just one. Uh, let me see, where is it? Small plot. I'm going to go ahead with a large plot. So it needs 80 stone and 80 wood. So I'm going to go run out to where I plan on putting these down and farm some. Of course, the fog would roll in and a seagull would get stuck on my bridge just as I'm trying to do a tutorial video. Go figure, but that's fine. Whatever. Um, let me see if I remember. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just pick up some wood really quickly. That should be enough. And we'll grab some stone. And now we should be able to make our first... I'll just make a small one. Alright. So, I'm going to put the farm plot on the hotbar. I'm going to put the reservoir on the hotbar. And also the pipes. So, with farming, you need seeds, obviously, to grow crops. So luckily enough on this island there is a lot of wheat so I want to show you what the wheat seeds look like. And here they are. This is what wheatgrass looks like and this is what you need to collect in order to be able to grow wheat. Uh, you cannot use um, wild vegetables in your uh, food recipes you have to actually grow and domesticate them I think that's the idea just like they used to have to um, you know genetics and plant genetics and how things evolved so basically they want you to domesticate these little wheat plants into actual wheat so that's what we're gonna do and it's important to make the higher up recipes if you're gonna be going on an adventure um, off of the island where if you do just die and respawn to reset your vitamins you're not gonna have to worry about that while you're out adventuring or taming or killing a boss or things like that also recipes can help with your um, 
heat and cold. So we'll get to that as soon as I open up the grill, that poor little seagull. All right, so I'm going to come over here and I will show you my little cooking shack. I need to clear the area of all this stuff though. It doesn't need to be here. I think it's just some shisandra plants and fiber. And for whatever reason, I can't clear that, but okay. Okay, so the game plan is you need to try and line up your pipes with where you want the grill to be. I'm going to try and do this all in one system. You certainly can have your water reservoir hooked up to a grill in a separate location and then just use um, the one that we're going to use here for farming. But I'm going to try and do it all in one. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down my little crop plot and you can put them straight on the soil. But if we look at our seeds will notice that it says can be planted in any soil type except no soil polar dirt tundra rock temperate rock equatorial rock basically rock flesh which is an interesting one uh water desert water tropical water ice and snow so we could plant this here but there's a little trick where if you plant on a foundation like a wood foundation or a thatch foundation that you can grow pretty much anything on it regardless of where it is as long as the you know the temperature isn't bad for it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down a few wooden foundations okay so I'm gonna put this right here I'm gonna try and line it up I don't know if it's gonna work but here we go I'm gonna do a two by two just like this and then once you do that, you bring out your crop plot and you can place it right on top of your foundation. And now this should say um, not irrigated because we haven't hooked up our uh, reservoir yet. Not fertilized, which means I have not made fertilizer or thrown poop on it. Not seeded because obviously I haven't put a seed in. And soil is temperate wood. So we are on a temperate island. So it takes the temperate part from the temperate island. And the wood part is just the type of material that the crop plot is on, which is interesting that this is the way it works. Before you get started, you can either deposit a medium creature feces. Like remember I picked up the poop. Okay, so now it says fertilizers at 7,500, but there is another way. If you have more poop and you have some thatch, you can make some craftable fertilizer. Actually, let me just do that really quickly. Um, we're right close to a tree. I may as well. Okay. So yes, making some fertilizer. And a good trick for this is to have pigs around. You can actually command the pigs to poop every, you know, few minutes. And that's a quick way to pick up fertilizer. I can deposit fertilizer and now it jumps way up to 61,500. So we're going to go ahead and plant a wheat seed. I forgot I had rice seeds. So now we have a wheat seed in here. And I'm going to show you now what soil tilling does. In order to till the soil, you need to have a shovel on. And tilling the soil will increase your yield. So you take a shovel, you left click, and you will have to do a mini game. And I'm not very good at these mini games, but three times should do it. So now you'll see that this says growth bonus 36%, three out of three. And if I were to get the better soil tilling, I think that growth bonus would be a little bit more. So now that we've done that, we're gonna set up our reservoir. Um, I'm trying to figure out, sometimes the pieces don't quite come out of the, uh, the reservoir very well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it here. So it says zero out of 12,000 not irrigated. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to draw from the groundwater over a certain amount of time. And when that fills up, it will be able to irrigate all of the plots. Or if it rains, that's another another quick way to fill it up. Uh, of course, we just have to wait and see if this works. But between then and now, I will show you how to set up the pipes. So here we have, and I'm going to do the most basic. I don't deal with the underground stuff. I do the above ground pipes. So we have underground water pipe. If you hit T, you'll cycle through the pipes. Straight water pipe, water tap, irrigated water pipe, and indoor water pipe. So for these, I'm going to be using straight water pipes at first. These do not have the irrigation uh, holes in them. 
And then now we will go down to irrigated water pipe because that is the type that you need in order to actually get water going. Um, when I put it down, you'll see it actually has little holes. See the little holes to irrigate? Oh, hey, it's raining. Perfect. So hopefully this will start filling up. Uh, I already have my water barrels open. Yep, there it goes. So now there's 13 water in there. Actually, it drained because this is probably trying to irrigate. But anyway, so now we have a nice clean line of irrigation pipes over our plants. And this should start irrigating it. The rain will probably do that anyway. But um, plan now is going to be to fill up the rest of the garden with maybe another wheat plot and then two rice plots. So we'll have two wheat plots and two rice plots. And then what I'm going to do is place the grill. I think I picked up the grill. Did I pick up the grill? All right, so the grill can be a little funky with the way it snaps to things. Um, what we're going to do is build a pipe up and a pipe down, and we're going to see how this goes. Um, I'm going to try and build it straight across and see if we can get the grill to snap to it on the inside. You always want to put your pipes first before you put the grill. Yes. Okay. See, now this is like snapping. It's not letting me freely place it if it's near a pipe. So this is great because it means this is going to work. So our grill is now irrigated. Hopefully that water will start filling up there. It says it's irrigated, so I'm just going to go ahead and trust it. So I will show you that one more time on the outside. I put one up just in case the grill was going to want me to place upwards, but it let me just place it directly inside. So it's kind of like a little bit of an underground pipe kind of. Um, oh, and look, our wheat is already starting to grow. So there you go. Now we can take a peek at the recipes in here. So we have our little beef buns, which need cooked meat, wheat or maize, salt, cooking herbs, chili. Um, salt is actually going to be a problem. I have not been able to find salt yet. So that's going to be a big adventure we're going to have to do. But um, most of these things will not only help with your vitamins, but they'll help heal you a little bit faster. And then you have special foods like, let me find them. Where are they? Yeah, this allows you to deal more damage the lower your health gets. So for this, you need a ton of ingredients. And it's kind of a shame we can't um, grow the veg or the, the herbs and everything too. I really think we should be able to have an herb garden. So yeah. Comments down below if you would also like to be able to grow herbs instead of having to gather them and then store them. But here's the important one. This increases your hyperthermic insulation. So if you are really hot and you eat this, it will cool you down. So that's kind of like kind of an end game way to stay the proper temperature. But anyway, now that we have this little system set up, I'm going to go ahead and put down a few more crop plots and throw some more wheat and rice seeds in there and we can let them grow. So that's basically it as far as farming goes. I mean, there are tons of seeds that you can collect around the world, um, which I'm gonna have to go and do. So far I've only found rice and wheat. Um, this island is in M5. I'll show you in the map here in a second. Okay. This island is M in M5. Um, it is this huge temperate island, and it does have wheat on it. Uh, we found rice all... where was it? Over here on this Freeport Island. There was rice on the Freeport. Um, so those are the only two that I found so far, but of course planning on finding more. So anyway, let's add... oh wait. In order to plant seeds, you do need to add fertilizer, so I'm going to have to find some animals to collect poop from. But that was the gardening little mini tutorial here. Once I get uh, and I'm able to collect a bunch of the different seeds, I'll show you what my finished garden looks like. That's probably going to take quite a bit of time, though because the map is huge, you know, it's 15 by 15, so I'm going to have to make my way around that somehow. All right, come on, bull. I know you must have pooped somewhere here. So I'm going to run away from this rattlesnake because my sword is not on my hotbar, which it should be. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about farming or gardening, feel free to ask in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. 
I guess I'll just sign off with my built-in seagull pet here. I'm not sure how this happened, but anyway, our next journey in this tutorial series or just progression series is going to be going out and killing some ship of the damned for some blueprints because I really want to get some good blueprints going for ships. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I've been looking forward to getting back out on the water. I've spent so much time on land and, you know, it's a sailing game. I want to go sail. So that's going to be uh, on the board for next time. So I hope you will join me for that. As always, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, check out the links in the description box down below for more info about me, my socials, my community. The community discord is a really good place uh, to talk about Atlas. Uh, also, if you are interested in joining, I have a community server that's open. It's a two by two grid right now, but we are planning on expanding slowly. I'm working with a really nice host um, who's hosting everything from his own hardware. And so far it's been a lot of fun and we're still figuring stuff out, but um, I think it's going to it's gonna end up being a lot of fun once we all get together in our crew and start doing stuff. So yeah, feel free to check that out. So as always, guys, I hope you are enjoying your games, and I will see you all in the next one.